<laughs> There's a, um, a the sermon scriptures uh, from the sermon are on the back, and it, and it's a Bible study, so it's Bible study. And uh, if you uh, if you take the time to do these, uh, you'll start to understand the messages a lot better, and you'll start to understand the Bible a lot better. You'll start to see and try to pick out the themes uh, for you to see throughout the Bible. We have, as a reminder, uh, in the back, we have a, a new daily bridge. Uh, we should be back there on the table. And uh, this is for September on. It's like that. This is our daily bread, September through November. And we have two, two little tracks for you to take and you know, read yourself and pass out. We have a lot more. And if we run out, don't worry about it. We have a lot more at home. But this is uh, Max Licato. He wrote this little one on 316. It's very good. And then for some people that are unsure about, well, I'm a good person. Shouldn't that get me in heaven? Um, you know, just, and just talks about talks about the that the moment you trust Christ, God looks at your sin is covered by the bloodshed on the cross. At the same time, He takes the righteousness of His Son and places it on you. You stand before a holy God, completely right in His sight, you are forever His. That is gospel right there. So, you take them and use them, hand them out. Uh, our basic job is to save as many souls as possible. Yeah. When you get to heaven, all those people that you helped save, you're going to be there. And you're going to be thanked for that. And, uh, Lord will appreciate it. Okay. I talked to my guardian yesterday uh, a couple days ago. Uh -huh. She said that if I can prove, prove her wrong within a year, I can move out and be on my own. Very good. Very good. What, do you, what do you got to do to prove it? Do whatever I think and everything I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds reasonable. <laughs> but if you try hard, and when you start to feel weak, you ask the Lord to give you strength. It's in our weakness, he has his strength. And, uh, I guarantee you, I have lots of weakness this morning. And, uh, but his strength is here and his strength is with him. And he'll be fine. Um, Sylvia, I've been trying. Do you want one of those prophecy Bibles? Yeah. The other week I meant to talk to you more. And I wasn't. You know, right, right. The week before you mentioned something about it, and then all the questions came, and I sort of lost track. But and I have the, the and Jaylee, you still want that I am book? Remember you should, we looked at that a couple weeks ago. I am 40, 40 uh, passages in the Bible drawn in uh, called the one that's like um, alphabetical almost, but yeah. like sequential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, please and thank you. Okay. Very good. Um, Have any requests for prayer this morning? Leave. One Yes. You know, a few years ago, the budgets were pretty good for the six week homes. And uh, so uh, the uh, young people that came down uh, always would have one or two of their workers with them. And the workers all received Christ. And, and uh, it was a neat thing. It was, uh, uh, it was a big group, actually. It was, there was, uh, depending, it ran 12 to 20 people when they all showed up. So, uh, but now the budgets are very tight. And some of these homes only have one person for the whole home on a Sunday. Uh, that's, that's not as good as it should be. So, uh, so we have the trouble getting Mabel to be allowed to come down. I'm sure that I think differently about what Mabel is capable of and what the, the house does at this point. So let, let us not forget to pray for Mabel. Um, it's part of a passage I was reading last night in preparation uh, that uh, we want to remember those that 
once they come to fellowship with us, we need to continue to remember them and pray for them. Uh, and uh, also, uh, we need, uh, in some cases where we put someone out, as uh, Paul talks about church discipline, and sometimes you put somebody out for a while, it says for Satan to have them for a while, the reason being that they realize the difference between what the world gives them and, uh, and, what, the ch and what Jesus and the church offer. And so once they've been in fellowship with us, if they ask for forgiveness and repent, we're supposed to take them back. And uh, I'll preach on that a little bit sometime in the future, but I was reading that last night. Leo asked that question. And so we need, we need to remember everyone because we're going to be with us upstairs. <laughs> All right. Any other? Yes, John. Yes. 